hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about file upload in laravel 8 so as we saw that we are posting and editing and deleting all the posts right so guys we want to add one image inside this post so guys let's get started with it so first when you click on add at on this moment i need one file upload option so guys let's get started with it so let's move to this to this url let's get back let's go to resource views and inside blog we have created that create blade.php file so this is the form to post that so guys now let us create one input so let me just copy and paste over here and let's tell this as image or file upload and change this input type as file and this name attribute to image and keep guys so let's add that into a form tag which is enc type is equal to multi-part form data so after this now guys we need to move to our code controller at the post so let me just add over here required to all these fields just add that and now guys we will move to the controller so let's go to post routes web.php you can see that we are using resource controller posts so let's move to our post controller let's see on the create you can see this create so we are going to store the data so over here you are moving and let's add that code so type if condition and if the image has been there okay dollar request has file function where i am a g image so this is nothing but your input value input name attribute value so let's copy this and paste and now you need to give dollar file variable is equal to dollar request of your file type so we are giving file let's give image then we will create one variable called ext extension let's type it full extension is equal to dollar file so this dollar file dollar file of get the client original name extension so get client original extension function now let's create the file name so dollar file name is equal to well, how we are going to create we are use the time function and concatenate with the extension so dot dot this extension so get this let's take this file variable and move the use move function to upload your image so inside my uploads folder slash blog folder slash and give comma not dot give comma and then call your file name so let's call this file name as simple so after this you need to call your post variable this post of your image column name so is equal to which will be your dollar file name so this file name i am going to save that i'm going to just save the file name and move this image to the this folder let's save and let's go to our database guys so before going to database we need to go to our post model so let's click on this and move to a post model so let's add that image and go to your db and on the posts let's add that field so let's give after description i want to add one column called i am a g image and we'll keep this var care 191 and allow null okay if you want you can allow or else keep mandatory and let's save guys 
so image is added and now let's get back let's move over here save let's see one post controller again so now guys let us go and refresh the page and let's try to insert the image okay so let's type blog 3 this is blog 3 description and upload the image let me select one image let's select this TV image open and now let's submit guys click submit post added successfully so let's check in our DV first the record is inserted or not perfect so you can see that some random numbers dot jpg file is inserted and let's see a uh, image into our uploads folder blog folder okay so let's arrange this and go to public uploads inside blocks you can find the image cool let me just open here yes guys so now let us access this image on this post of table view over here let's get back so this is the index function where at this blog let's move over here and this is the table let's add image and call the path td image tag where asset function inside this uploads forward slash blog then after this single quote give dot and dollar item of your column name image okay and give the width is equal to 80 pixel let me minimize this sidebar height is equal to 80 pixel save and now let's see the output refresh you can see this blog image is coming over here so guys now there is no image in this too so let's edit and update the data so let's click on edit over here you don't have that form called file input so let's add that so move over here let's go to edit file and copy the same thing so I'm going to copy this from the create folder file to over here save enc type enc type is equal to multi-part form data that's it and let's move to this post of this post id so let's go to your post controller at update function so this is the update function you need to write the code to update the image so guys we will copy the same code and utilize in this let's copy this and get back to update function paste here now we need to check that we want to update the image and remove the old image also so over here just add one simple code first we will tell destination path destination underscore path is equal to inside single quotes I am going to call my path so my path is uploads folder forward slash blog forward slash dot and then your this dollar post of your column name image okay and now we are going to use if condition if the file exists or not inside this so capital F I L E file exist function what this destination path so if it exists then you have to come inside file colon colon delete function where you are going to delete the destination path as simple that's it guys so this is the update query if it is old image is there it will delete that and new image will update it as simple let's save and one changes you can see this file right you need to import the class of this so let's import that you can select in this eliminate support facets file 
let's see that on the output I mean in the class let's save and now let's try to update that guys refresh okay let's try to upload with new image let's update with this shirt okay let's update product updated successfully let's go back and you can see that it's updated there was no image now it's added the image so guys now let us try to change this image let's click edit update with the new image so i'm going to update with this logo hp and update okay so let's move on the post you can see that hp images has come perfect so let's add for this also one image okay let's add the shoe update back and now guys the third method to delete that so when we click delete this image should get deleted from here so for that let's go over here and copy this code guys and move to your destroy function so this is your destroy function just paste that so you are going to search the path and the dollar post of this variable of image column if anything exists in the path then you have to delete that image and then as simple you can move with this post deleted successfully let's save and now let us try to delete it guys so let me just show you the images how much it is present over here let's go to public inside the blocks you can see that three images are there so it will become two images now when we delete that so let's click on delete so post deleted successfully let's get back over here you can see it has come only two images are there one image is deleted so guys, this is how we do with the file uploading or image uploading in laravel 8 so guys in this video that's it and let's see in next video about new topic thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share